Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and I had a bit of an embarrassing moment. Um, in trying to clean out some space on my laptop, I accidentally deleted both the original recording and the edited version of Mission 10. So, now I have to do it again, and I didn't actually realize this until today, but we have to redo it again. And I don't mind. But this time I know what to do, I know I, I can probably do it a bit quicker than I did last time. its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Fire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready, as do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ayr. Yes, for ire indeed. Here we go. As you see, we have Raynor in this mission in his impressive Gantrothor, not Gantrothor, a uh, Hyperion ship, as well as a little something extra, which you'll see in a minute. Executor, Tazadar, this comes too late to you, but the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. And you not enough do, minerals. brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're going to send some backup for us? That's right. We get to play as both Zerg, or er, not Zerg, uh, we play against Zerg. We get to play as both Terran and Protoss. Which is very exciting. Now, what I'm going to do is secure immediately this point here with the Dark Templar and the Gantrathor. And at the base here, we are going to construct bunkers to defend here and here, as well as take this base down here. There should be a base around here somewhere. We're going to put up a few defenses. And yeah, this is the final mission. They're, the Overmind and all the Zerg are concentrated in the middle of this map here. And there are resources literally everywhere along here. Well, not everywhere, but pretty darn close to everywhere. Alright, we're actually going to cancel one of these probes because I would like to start getting gas. Because I plan on going a carrier battle cruiser army that is in my opinion the best way to end one of these missions it's just a mass well to end this mission and for that matter the original starcraft campaign now we don't have a lot of pro we don't have a lot of minerals up here Terran have a lot of minerals but we do have we just have one gas here. Down here we've got two geysers, each with... Well, that one's got four grand. I don't know how much this has. It might also have four grand in it. Yeah, four grand. You have not enough minerals. So yeah, that's my plan for this, uh, for this mission. 
Gonna quick get an academy going. And I need to get as many SCVs out as I can. Now last time I had accidentally went a little too long. Spent a little too long trying to get build up my build up my base. Get everything together. This time around I'm going to try to see if I can quicken that, that process a bit. Now oh, I might want to also get the interceptors inside the Gantrathor. Now when it comes to defense, the Protoss only have a single axis over here. The rest are... There's one all the way over here that would take the Zerg forever to march the way down to here. And the Terrans got... There's one there, one there, one a little bit further down here. But I find that they only really use the one down here if you put up a base. Otherwise, they will leave that entrance alone. Alright, let's start getting... We need to get our gas going. I need a lot of gas for what I'm doing. Because battle cruisers, they cost a bit. Okay, we will start with a bunker... Start with one right here. I'm going to put one over here. Protoss base. We're going to start down the path to getting our. Uh, to, we're going to start get going down the path to get carriers. And it all starts with a gateway. There we go. Now we are going to be trying. I'm going to be trying to upgrade as as often as I can. Okay, you're done with that. Excellent. We can get a couple of fire bats now. Let's see here. So from here, we'll need a factory, but we'll get we'll hold off on that for a moment. You build a bunker right here. You come back onto the mineral line, please. Head back there. I hear you. Gonna finish that up. That's almost done. Oh, here we go. Yes. You got my attention. This is Jimmy. Oh yeah. Make sure to decide to use the ramp over here for once. Oh well, we'll put Jim here. He should be fine to hold on to this point. And we'll put one turret up here. And now build the factory right here. It's nice and out of the way. Go to Supply Depot, and back down to the, at Protoss land, get the Cyber Core going. Just a couple more workers should do the trick. Send those guys up there. As soon as you're done, we're gonna get we're gonna start the armory. We're gonna get the armory so I can get some upgrades for our aircraft. Good, good. I think an armory is 150. I believe it's 150. I'm making an ex a another bunkers worth of, another two bunkers worth of troops so I can push down here and take the base. 
Excellent. Because I would like to also start getting that go. I would like to get that started. Oh, here we go. We launch an attack down there. Let's start getting our air upgrades. Alrighty, start, start, right there, come on, somewhere here, okay, that's good enough. Start warping in our Nexus. We have a large buildup of gas, and that's perfect. Now the Gantry throwing all of our heroes, they're going to remain at base. I don't want to accidentally have them blow up. That would be tragic. Go find this other area of minerals. Need a light. For the turn of the heat. Go ahead, Commander. Should be oh, right oh, just oh. down here. This should be good. Oh yeah. I read you? Okay, so oh, I believe the ramp is here, and actually if we go to the edge, you can see minerals here, but if we go any further, you can you can slightly see the creep creep there. We don't want to go that way. That's a bad idea, bad life choice to go that way. So instead, we're just going to set up shop here. Alright, have Jim hold position there. And I'm going to get you to come down here and we'll build a command center. Eh, uh, we should be good for now. Oh, you're done. Oh, no, don't do that. I did that mistake the last time. Instead of upgrading uh, ships, I accidentally upgraded my ground units. That's not what I want to do. Alright, so... One there... Build the next bunker right here, please. Now this bunker's likely going to chase away that, uh... It's going to chase that overlord away. And we need one turret down there. I would like a turret right here, please. And that should be good to go on the, on the defenses. And we're going to quickly save for our forge upgrades. Alright, excellent. And shields. So this is eight, this one is seven, seven's gonna be located there. Fire back, board up into the bunker. And let's start the second armory. And with at that, also get me a starport. It's time to start making those units. I see Mutalisk down there. It's a good thing that these bunkers have a nice long range. We can see a lot. Now we are going to need to build a few supply depots, so let's go ahead and build that. The command center is going to give us a little bit of extra supply. I can see you, Mr. Mutalisk. Are you going to come and attack? I think you'd be a fool to come and try and attack. There's the first upgrade. We need a fleet beacon to do any more. So we're going to quickly tech to that. Which means if that's done... 
Now we do have to watch out for guardian attacks because the enemy will send in guardians. Okay, so that's just finished. Excellent. Please repair that. Work on ship plating. Position that right there. Now build a science facility. Continue to build more SCVs. You have not enough minerals. How are we doing there? Okay, we're good. Good for now. I'm gonna need a more pylon power. SCV good to go, sir. SCV good to go, sir. Yeah, you don't want to go too close to them. Report for duty. Now, if I really wanted to, um, I could put it. There's another base that I could take right here for Terran, and there's a giant mineral field over here that I could take as well. I'm not going to do either of those, at least, I don't plan on it. If I have to, I will, but I don't plan on taking either of them. Back there. Orders, you harvest there, you go there. Yes, sir. Back here, Report you here, you there. Should only need a few more SCVs over at this position. That's ready to start its next upgrade. Orders, Get a physics lab going. And because we started this gas so very early, we have a large, we have a lot of gas. Now, I am going to build a refinery and an assimilator and get them worked on. Just to now, now that we have this large pool of gas, we're going to we're going to burn through it really quickly when we start our our big uh, building up our big death fleet. Alright, and then get max carrier capacity. The add-on is finished, excellent. Please harvest there. We have a couple more SCVs. Should be good. Alrighty, one control tower there. Then Colossus React. We're gonna get both upgrades for the battle cruiser. Gonna start with the Colossus Reactor. Gonna want one for there. One there, yep. That's the Terran guys are depleted. We're gonna keep them on there though. They're still gonna get us a little bit of gas. Yes, I think this one's all oh, this one's four grand as well. So two more. One more. Two more from there. Should give me another one there. Now we can go for level three shields. Huh. Stay away, stay away. Uh oh. Alright, have Zero Tool tank this. Since he can. Do a really good job of tanking these guys. I might have to build a. Oh, no, we should be okay. Good there. Repelled that attack. 
We got our plus one two as well. That's done. Next we need ships. And can I get a squeeze a third star port up here? We can. And we're going to. Because we need all the gas we can get. I mean I need all the upgrades I can get. Not to mention all the production. So we now have the ability to produce from all of these from all of our late game I can't talk. For all of our late game units, we can produce them. We just need to gather up a little more, so a few more minerals. By a few, I mean a lot. The add-ons there have been completed. Excellent. Upgrades are going. This one's almost done. I'm gonna put up one cannon here to help with the uh, mutilisk attacks. Another upgrade done. Yamato Cannon, please. You see, these guys, they're going to cost a lot. In order to start these, we're going to need 400 minerals a pop, as well as 300 gas. Which is why we've been gathering gas so early this entire time. Do you know what? I'm actually, I am going to take over here as well. Could use a little extra mineral income, so we're going to go be up at five bases. And build one more pylon, and that should be all the pylon power we'll need. And I just need... It's not over here. It's, it's around here somewhere. There's another base that we could take. It's right over here. Here we go. Slap a command center here, and if we need to, there's another geyser here as well. So in this corner here, there's three there's three geysers. I didn't check how much they were, but there's quite a. F I imagine there's quite a few gas up here, and then down here there's a lot of mi there's a giant mineral field. Thank you. We'll uh, build a comsat satellite, and I and I'll show you guys. Of course, we need to get our upgrades going. A little bit quicker, so let's build another cyber core. Our shields are almost done, which is good. Actually, I am going to send you to explore a little bit up here. I I don't remember what was down here. If there's a base over there, I might. I think I'll take it. We'll keep the Dark Templars here. Build two more cannons and then send the Gantra Thor up. Battle cruisers are completely researched. Excellent. So we'll need this at five, just for, just so I can quickly tap back and forth between the two of them. No, we have one idle worker. Any idle workers up here? No. Any over here? There's got to be at least one. No, nope, none over there too. Nice. Alrighty. Commence the carriers. And in oh, right now. Additional supply depots required. Oh right, yes. I do need to build up a few more supply depots for Terran first before I before we build Before we start the battle cruisers, we got our Protoss all set up. I need to go now. I need to go set up my Terran. Good news is upgrades are coming along really nicely. Get plus two in the air. Shields are going to be done. Plus two is going to be completed. Oh, yep, yeah, that is right. They do have some hydralisks up here guarding that. Oh, there's actually four gas up here. My bad. So I imagine each of them have four grand apiece. 
There should be some minerals up here. If memory serves. Quite able to save it. Please stop moving and allow the SCV to repair you. SCV, run, 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 run. There's gotta be another base around here somewhere, right? SCB, good to go, sir. Anyways, uh, battle, 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 cruiser. Excellent. I asked you to build another one. Now we gotta be careful because they do occasionally. <gasps> Jimmy, no! Get out of there, Marines. Please save them. Jim, you are a bad... Bad Jim. Bad. You almost died. Oh, thank goodness the Scourge turned around. I went, yeah, we ain't, uh... We ain't get we don't get paid enough to go into that. Thank goodness. Okay, I guess the Protoss just do not get another mineral area over here. They are really adamant about killing us. Okay, I guess Protoss does not get another more minerals over here, so which means this is what we get. We're gonna work with this. That's fine. We got an upgrade. We got a building not upgrading. Get plus three. Jeez, that's a lot of them. Oh, that was that was a file. Oh. oh yeah. Can you model one of those, please? SCVs, give that thing a big hug. Quickly fix that up. They launched a big attack over here. You got this, SCVs! No, they didn't save that. Kill the Guardian, kill the Guardian, kill the Guardian. Good job. No, we lost, we lost an SCV repairing Jim. Get a few more. I think I heard the battle cruisers. And the carriers. And now we're a little bankrupt at the moment. SCVs! Please leave my position alone. Alrighty, now send me three more Marines. He's gonna leave, great. Excellent, well, that was a bit of a close one. Oh, 
quite in range. I don't mind if the interceptor, if these interceptors get uh. If they get plagued, I do care if everything else gets plagued. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's right, Queens. Leave me alone. That fire bat, he's, uh, he's pretty lucky to be alive. I'd say the same with Jim. Jim, you're lucky. You are very lucky to be alive. At the battle cruisers? Nope. Now, I'm going to attack right from here. So, when the time's right, I'm going to gather all my crew. I'm going to gather my bat battle cruisers. I carry. Of course, I'm now Mac. I need more supply depots. See, this is what happens when I don't prepare the Terrans. All right, carriers are ready. Instructions. Affirmative. Fortunately, we do have a. <gasps> they got plagued. Surprisingly, these units did not. How did these guys escape the plague? <laughs> Those Marines are very lucky. You guys gotta stay over there, please. See what I mean? Uh, we're a little shy on gas now. Turns out I did not save enough. Alright, well, we have another gas deposit up here. And we're now going to build another refine. We're gonna take this one. Alright, we're now maxed out there. We just need Protoss air armor and we'll be completely maxed out down here. And our carriers are almost completed. You know, I'm wondering if I could finish this with just these guys. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a uh, a play for that. We're gonna do it. Here they come. Here comes another wave. How much damage do we do? We only three shot them. That's unfortunate. We got another wave. Fortunately, we can still one-shot Zerglings with this. Yep. Oh, looks like they're probing us up here now. How, lo how wonderful. Alright, that should be the last of the interceptors that we'll need. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and wait for these uh, battle cruisers to finish. It'll also give me time to finish up my uh, air upgrade, which is all that I need. Okay, so there's four gas up here. 7,500. Okay, so that's a very... Uh... Why did you guys stop? Oh my. Good day, Commander. They're on a move at the moment. Eight thousand. Yeah, if you guys need gas, this is the place to get it. You'll find gas for days. All right, send these two over here. And I need a couple more supply depots. Basically, one supply depot for one battle cruiser, and every three supply depots gets us an additional battle cruiser. Alright, so unfortunately, kind of unfortunate about the gas situation, but what can you do? We'll wait on these battle cruisers, or how soon is air upgrade? Arguably, I might be able to get another wave through, so. I don't know. Regardless, we're going to wait for uh, the up air upgrades. Oh, you cheeky little bat. Cheeky mutilisks. Also notice these mutilisks are doing no da basically no damage to Jim. Although I can afford I can kind of afford to take that hit to the economy. As strange as that as that is, we could have we had enough there that we could afford to take a hit. Like that, and still be okay. We just need to build up a little bit more. Get one more missile turret right here. Jim Rayner's all the defense we need, thanks to plus three, plus three, plus three. Uh, I don't know, I think these guys might, f might finish before the others. So just to show how much minerals are down here. There's that. So you can see. There's minerals lining up this place. And a couple of burrowed units here too. Uh, I think this is the last mineral, free mineral patch on the base. So if you manage to burn through all of these, these, basically all these minerals around the map, you have, this is your only area for minerals, but you can use them. And if you manage to go through all of them, I don't know what to say. I think you might want to uh, restart at that point. Either that, or you have so much money that you could throw. Not, you can make it 200, 200 a marine and still be fine. All right, we're starting this. It's, we're starting our approach. Got to take these guys together. Now I've been be being very careful to make sure that they. They stay out of harm's way of the defilers. Now, oh, shoot, they, they went around my defenses again. They did not do this in my other playthrough. But thanks to those shields, that cannon was able to survive. Sorry, I thought I heard a defiler for a second. It's out. Oh, that cannon might be able to take that out. Is it going to be able to do it? Oh, it it was so close. Oh well. All crews reporting. Good day, Commander. Engage. We are under attack. From what? Oh, not another defiler. Or not a defiler. Queen. Yeah, go home. Alright. 
We'll wait for these battle cruisers to make their way over there. May as well go in with the full force that I, I promise we would go in with. And if you really want to, you could. Well, I'm just going to toss away a little bit of money. Seeing as how I honestly don't believe that I could lose unless this entire army gets defiled or plagued. I don't see myself losing this. I really don't. And I have the facilities just to be able to remax out pretty quickly. I've got enough minerals to be able to do it, a lot of gas that I can start queuing them up. Then by the time they finish, I queue up the next round. It's just, there's no winning for the Zerg. All right, where are the battle cruisers? Battle cruisers are there. Good day, Commander. Alrighty, make your approach. Instructions. Unfortunately, these things remove very, very slowly. Almost painfully, it's kind of painful how slow these things move. All right, come on, a little bit quicker. Yeah, most of the time, in the last time, I, the last time I played, they went up this ramp a lot. They went up this ramp. They they attacked Terran a lot. They only launched an attack against the Protoss once. That was it. And they didn't even bother to do that trick that they pulled over here. Speaking of which, just in case they try that again, we will uh, be ready with an X with a second cannon. All crews reporting. Take it slow. All right, here we go. We're starting our approach. Again! Again with the plague! Pull back over here, please. I had you guys on a move. Okay, you guys maybe don't do that. As you see, just an independent. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of scourge. Battle cruisers. That might get through. And we didn't lose anything. Alright, now we just have to wait for the eventual approach these guys will make. I can see the Overmind right there. Yeah, this is a little too slow for my liking carrier, guys. Alrighty, Yamato Cannon. Let's go. Alright. Full attack. All weapons. Bring on the Death Fleet. And we win. The warriors have engaged the enemy. The overmind has been weakened. But I fear we have sustained severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrathor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gantra Thor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Remember us, Executor. Remember what was done here today. May Adun watch over you. And that's the mission. Not really too hard, not too much of a challenge, but if you're not prepared for this, and say you go in with just a weak force, you will get overwhelmed. 
excuse me, especially if you don't bring enough carriers or enough battle cruisers, because those scourge will uh, they'll eat your ships alive. There we go. A nice, perfect high score. Was about it's more than these guys combined, more than double of one of them. I am the Layback Gamer, and thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video or any of my other videos to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. Um, I don't think... Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm not going to... I was originally going to post this and the next mission, uh, which is the start of the Brood War campaign. Uh, I was going to do that a bit late. I meant to do that earlier today, however... I decided, you know what, I, I need to take a break, and I thought I had this already ready to go, so, yeah. Anyways, that'll do it. So enjoy the cutscene. I'm not going to go through the credits, because the credits uh, itself is very, very long. I'll do that probably as its own separate thing in a future episode. Maybe, I'm not 100% sure. The credits are very long, though. And it comprises of both of the credits for this game, for the original, credits for Brood War, and the credits for the remaster. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy the final cutscene. And until next time, take it easy.